Hi, this is a Q&A video. Some of you have asked me questions on quantitative finance and I'm going to be answering your questions in this video. The first question is, if I get a CS degree uh, for bachelors, can it work? Well, CS is a combination of mathematics and coding and these two areas are heavily used in finance and in particular in quantitative finance. Uh, so it works very well. So you certainly can go for a CS degree for your bachelor and it will do wonder if you want to uh, start your career in quantitative finance. It's a highly technical subject and uh, people from technical subjects such as computer science, physics and engineering, they are preferred in quantitative finance. So it works very well for you. Um, and moreover, finance is becoming tech driven. Uh, trading in particular, quantitative finance in particular is also becoming very tech driven. Um, for example, the high frequency trading uh, uses a lot of computer science and coding and uh, mathematics. So it's really good to have uh, a coding and maths background and you can have that background uh, if you do uh, a bachelor's degree in computer science. So it's, it's a wonderful degree to have if you want to be a, a quantitative finance expert. Uh, and it's also uh, heavily used these days uh, in new ways financial technology companies known as the fintechs. So in fintechs, uh, people with uh, CS degrees are preferred. So, so it goes without saying, it's a wonderful degree uh, if you want to start your career in quantitative finance or any area of mathematical finance. Uh, I have a business administration bachelor's and I want to be a quant. Should I study a bachelor's again uh, with a different major or complete a master in finance? I suggest not to do another bachelor because uh, it takes time. Uh, it takes three to four years to do a bachelor's uh, degree again and it's a waste of time, frankly speaking. You may do a master's degree and if uh, your university allows, you can do a master in financial engineering, uh, but they may want to have you uh, a quantitative bachelor's program. Uh, but if you have learned some mathematics as part of your business administration bachelor, then you can certainly do uh, an MFE. Otherwise, you can also do other uh, kinds of master in finance program, uh, which will also teach you some uh, quantitative finance. You can also explore certifications as, such as CQF that helps. Uh, you can also explore other career options in finance such as risk management, which are less quantitative, but you still can um, use some sort of quantitative finance there. Uh, and there are a lot of other, uh, you know, highly um, um, lucrative career also in other areas of banking and finance. So it's not just quantity finance. So we may want to explore those areas. The next question is, is there a linear algebra calculation probability book or, or course which specifically covers finance uh, specific topics? I can cover rest of the modules later. Well, if you buy any quantity finance book, you will find these topics covered before uh, you know, you go through the more hardcore quantity finance topics. So in the first few chapters of any of this uh, quantity finance books, you will find these topics uh, covered. Um, if you are not, uh, you still want to do some basics, you can check the courses on Khan Academy and do these courses there. Um, are there any free uh, quantity finance programs? I do not know of many. Uh, but I know that World Quant University, it's not actually an university, but they, they're calling it them as university, um, US best. It was started by World Quant uh, Hedge Fund and uh, they provide free quantity finance master's uh, degree. Uh, they do charge some money for books and all, but uh, the degree as such is free of cost. Uh, I'm not sure if this degree is recognized. Um, by the government, by organization, banks, and other firms. But um, the degree as such is MSc in Quantity Finance. Um, you can explore more, I don't know more than that. It's an online program, so you can do it from anywhere. Uh, yeah, the company is based out of US, but you can do this degree from anywhere uh, on the planet. I have a bachelor's degree in economics, is that okay? Uh, I suggest you should go for a master's uh, degree. Uh, you should study more of econometrics um, and that you wouldn't have studied uh, as part of your bachelor's degree. So 
go for masters in economics econometrics or statistics you can also go for mfe master in financial engineering or master in mathematical finance quantitative finance there are many such degrees in many part of the world so you can do these courses and do some certification if you if you can um, there are many certification on coursera on edx you can do that uh, there are a lot of videos on youtube also you can you can just simply watch and practice that also helps are there phd uh, programs in quantitative finance in the uk yes there are you have to explore just do a bit of google search you can find i know there are some programs uh, in the top uh, universities in the uk but there may be also other uh, programs in other less known universities in the uk uh, you may not get a degree such as phd in quantitative finance maybe the economics department or the finance department or the management department is offering quantitative based finance phd programs so you know you don't have to uh, you know be particular about the department as such because you m probably do not won't find quantitative finance uh, department in these universities but um, they do provide heavy quantitative uh, phd programs uh, the economics department the management department so how is the program uh, msc quantity finance at university of manchester it's a good one uh, university of manchester is a very uh, renowned university not just in the uk but worldwide it is well known so the program is is good i also know a few people from there um, they're all good so i'm i'm just assuming it's a good program also given that uh, the university is is of repute so it has good reputation um sir i'm uh, i'm in my higher schooling i want to pursue financial engineering as in interested in it can you please tell me the detailed video on financial engineering and pressing problem okay if you are still in school i suggest not to worry about uh, these things do your high school first uh, and learn mathematics very well spend time in doing mathematics and then go for a quantitative subject such as cs physics engineering any of these or maths statistics and then i'm sure if you have interest in finance you just you know go through um, you, you start uh, reading more about finance books and uh, you can learn a lot from different uh, you know business newspapers and then you can develop yourself you can do intensive to learn more about this field and to really know whether you are interested or not because many people are interested just for money not because they are really interested i suggest not to do that there are other lucrative career options as well so it's not the only one what is the credibility of iiqf program so this is a question relevant only for the indian people uh, is i think iiqf stands for indian institute of quantitative finance um it's not a, a public university as such it's not even a private university i know but i am not 100% sure about the credibility of this program i know some faculties who are quite good some faculties from chennai mathematical institute uh, they used to teach for this institute uh, i am not sure though it's quite expensive program i have heard but you can check it um, take the where website how much it cost um, but i know that it's not very well recognized in the industry that's for sure uh, and also outside of india so i i suggest you prefer cqf program than iqf uh, i think the cost is pretty similar so why not do a program which is uh, more recognized in the industry but also recognized outside of india cqf program is the one i'm talking here so you should prefer that all right i think these are the question if i have more question you can also ask me in the comment section and i probably will have another uh, q and a video to answer your questions and you can also contact me right i'll give my email id you can contact me if you have more questions and you can also talk to me directly if you want to you can just uh, you just have to contact me over the email okay thanks thank you